Hey guys, Shaver1000 here. Today we're going to be doing a review of the Sony Handycam. Um, it is the HDR-CX240 9.2 megapixels. So it is the uh, CX240. Stay tuned. Okay guys, here we go, let's see, get a light on here, right, that helps a little bit. Um, I got this camera, and I got it for a steal, okay, I got it off of eBay, I didn't steal it, no, not per se, but I, uh, I got it cheap, I think I gave it like 40 bucks for this thing, it is new, and I've got, you know, the cables for it and everything, um, but... We're going to do a review on this little Sony. I love Sony's. Um, the camera I'm using right now, of course, is not a Sony, but it has a Sony lens. But anyway, this this little camera here, uh, it's what does that say? Clear image zoom, fifty. <coughs> excuse me, fifty-four times, fifty-four times clear image view or zoom. So I know you can't read that because of this camera. I don't have the macro lens on. So what I'm going to do here is, if a battery don't go dead, I'm, going, I'm just going to go over some things with you on it. It's just, it's a plain Jane. Let's get it opened up here. Just a plain Jane. You open it up, you turn it on. The lens cover, there we go. And I know, like I said, you're, going to, you're not going to see it with the camera I'm using. Even with the macro lens. Now, I'm not cutting down the camera I'm using. I love it. And I really love our new one with the night vision. I may have to resort to using it. But, see these, like I was talking about the other day on one of my videos. They just don't... There's no autofocus. Well, there's no focus at all, really. So, I really can't go into much detail. But, there's your menu options. And, it's got all kinds of things you can do with it. Um... As far as that goes, the uh, like our new camera ha has more features than this does, but this has more settings on it. So, without any further ado, I'm going to talk about this camera while I'm using this camera because I got a battery light flashing on this one that I'm using. So, I'll, I'll just kind of go over some of the things with you. And besides, I wanted to show you. You know how good the sound is for uh, just for a versatile little camera. It's great for like a beginner YouTuber or, or whatever. It's very light and it's very easy to use. You just point and shoot, really. And uh, another thing that I like is the photo button. You can um, take a still image while you're recording. The camera I'm using, you can't do that with. So. I'll go over some pros and cons with it, what I like about it and what I wish it had because there's really nothing I don't like about it in either one of these cameras. I love all my cameras uh, equally, but there's just some things I like more than. Okay, guys, we're back. We are now using the, uh, the new camera that we got. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> the Sony. So this is what I'm filming with now. This is the one I was just filming with. This is our first new camera that we bought, what, a year and a half ago. The one that got uh, wet when we was on the ship and it had some issues. It seems to be working all right now. I've used different memory cards and stuff like that. It seems to be working okay now. But remember, I kept getting corrupted files on here. The files would just be missing when I went to import them. And they wouldn't be on there, but they'd be on here. So I had no way to... And this is that uh, hot sheet mount I was talking about here on top that you can you know, put your light on. Just this light without having to have this one. But that's okay, you know. Uh, like uh, this one, you know, has a feature on top just like uh, the one I'm using now. You know, there's your zoom and there's your photo. Uh, your photo button there. But you cannot record video and take a still image at the same time like you can on 
this one. Uh, so there's, there, there's pros and cons to everything, you know, but, uh, you know, like I said, the menu on the camera we're using right now is a lot, is a lot more, there's a lot more stuff. Like on this one, here we'll go to menu on here. This is touch screen, the one I'm using is not, no big deal. So you just pretty, this is really all you got. You've got resolution, your AWB, which is your automatic white balance, your color, exposure, and your metering. Okay, which is all right, but the one I'm using also it it has a uh, it's a 1080i, 1080p, and you can uh, set in each one of those 1080 1080i and 1080p. You can set uh, very high quality, high quality, medium quality, low quality. You know, in each one of those, and then it's got automatic. You know, and then plus it's, it's just got so much more. And yes, you can on on the one I'm using. You can uh, change the battery and get an extra battery, and you can change it out. You know, just it goes dead or it's going dead. Pop it out, throw another battery into it, and you're good to go. Uh, the one I'm using opens up, turns on, shuts, shut it, and it turns off. This one you can shut. It will not turn off unless it goes to the time. So but it does have a power on it so uh power button the one i'm using does not which is fine so i'm going to get monkey one of these she really likes it and uh she says it's light it's easy to use see all these buttons confuse her you know to turn on light she don't need any of that display which the display button as you can see if i can if i can hit the display button here Maybe you can see. Let me zoom in here. See, it takes it off like that, just like the one I'm using. You know, so there you go. Um, the one I'm using does. It still has the battery light or the battery, and see, this one just went dead. So we got done just in time. The one I'm using says record menu and has the battery symbol, which which is fine. Okay, but now something else I was really liking now, I showed you on here, <coughs> excuse me, you, you can't, you know, even with a macro lens, you can't get really close up, okay? Now, I want to show you something. I got this little thing they always give you in your eBay packages and whatnot. Let me show you this. Look at that. I'll zoom in a little bit. Like I said, it's 54 times uh, clear image zoom, or it's got 350 times optic optical zoom or digital zoom. One of the two, yeah. But look at that. That's you know you can you can read it. You know, I mean, you can get right down to the nitty gritty with it and let it focus. It does auto focus, whereas that one does not. Autofocus, it doesn't focus at all. And as you can see, so that's pretty pretty little letters there. Or you know, they're fairly little letters as you can see, you know, on to how big the camera is and how little the we all know how little these letters are on the bottom of something. Okay, so let's see how well it will yeah you can you can read it you know just fine and we all know when you turn the bottom of a camera phone over how little them letters them letters are to see you know you got to put glasses on blah 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 you know so yeah I mean you can really zoom in on this placement right here you know it will start going out of zoom, but now I'm halfway zoomed up, you know, so just back it off and it'll focus, you know. If you can hold it still enough, it would probably focus on its own. See, it's trying to right now, but I'm moving. If I had it on a tripod, I guarantee you I could focus in on that. But, I mean, you know, that's pretty close right there because I'll show you what I'm looking at. There we go. This is the placemat. 
uh, like I said it does not have an external mic port where this one does but it does have the charging port well it's got the charging cable I showed you goes right into the to the handle um, and of course like I said it doesn't have a light it's not night vision but hey you know what do you want you know what I mean for you know less than two hundred dollars but like I said I got this one like for 45 I think it was because I had some earned points and stuff like that so I'm going to get monkey one she she seems to really like it <coughs> she's been using her phone I have her uh, movie maker I put on her computer which I found out where to get it so I got my movie maker back on my PC so I love it it's just so much faster now I'm going to keep all my other editing software because I, I will use it you know for other things but see this is and of course this is not Wi-Fi which is okay but yeah the, the one we're filming does but the one we're filming with does not so, so this is right there hot shoe this does not have a hot shoe mount that's okay and we know how little these oops these letters are I can hold it still there it goes see that's 24 megapixels the one we're using is like 9.2 it's okay I mean it's it's good for for YouTube videos so I thought I'd do a quick review on it and let you guys uh, know how much I like it if you get the chance you know I mean this camera it's 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 phenomenal I really like it uh, yeah this one's 9.2 megapixels which is okay still image so yeah it, it's an uh, again it's the CX240 HDR dash CX240 it is by Sony and uh, when you look at it it'll say HD AV CHD progressive okay now what progressive means is what I was telling you about how you can um, take still images on the fly as you are recording the other cameras that we have you do you cannot do that you have to sh stop your recording go into camera mode or photo mode whatever yeah because it's video and then you got camera you have to stop your recording go to camera mode take your picture go back you know to the mode and click on your video camera again this one you don't have to do that it's progressive you can just take a still image you know while you are recording so I really like that about these things because sometimes I want to do you know some I've been having you to, to do screenshots if if I want to you know cust do a custom uh, thumbnail I've been having to use do screenshots because when I'm filming I don't want to stop filming take a picture and then start filming again you know so like right now I just took a still image picture you know and I'm still recording which I will throw the still image up as well now the 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 camera quality as far as for the pictures ain't as great as or I shouldn't say ain't is not as great as the other cameras but it's very impressive for what this camera is I really like it it reminds me of the one uh, from a few years ago when I was living in Ohio that I used all the time you know I probably got 250 videos I made with that camera just for YouTube I lost it. I don't know what I did with it. You know, I don't know if I left it in a motel. I don't know if it got lost when I moved down here. But I know I, I, I packed it and then it was gone. So I don't know whatever happened to it. But it was a Sony. Now it was a higher end. You know, it was more heavy and it was more, you know, a little bigger like these. But uh, I'm not complaining. This one here does almost what the other one would do only it had a light on it it wasn't night vision but it did have a light on it and a hot shoe mount and all that but this just reminds me of that that camera so right now I'm really happy with it so I think I'm gonna get monkey one here in a week or two and and let her go from there and, and let her start make some pretty good videos and you know like I said I wish it did have a little light on it but you know if it wasn't for this light here you know these little lights on these things like it's right here on the top of the lens the little 
they don't do a whole lot it helped in close up when we was uh, filming this camera it kind of helped but yeah you know, that's why you know these th these lights uh, that I got here see it's just it's amazing you know I mean it, that's yeah yeah see they're just you know so and then let me see I got my finger in front of it but I'll shut it off and you'll see the difference here so yeah so anyway guys again there you go there's so much <coughs> I wish I could show you all the functions in the menu that this thing is loaded with but like I said with this camera here even with the macro lens you wouldn't even you wouldn't be able to see it um, all I can say is um, if you're wanting a good cheap camera absolutely get it you you, you won't be uh, you you know you'll be glad you did you won't be disappointed by any means so I mean, I said a monkey wanted me to do this, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and go for now. Let's see here. See, I mean, it just. It's amazing. But I'm going to go ahead and go for now, guys, and uh, stay tuned for more videos of our, of our new trike. Yeah, that trike is rough. But, uh, yeah, got it cheap. You know, help my nephew out, and I got it cheap, so. And he helped me out, gave me something to do, and make some videos with. Alright guys, so again, thanks for watching. Remember, check out Monkey1000. Check her channel out. Oh, shout out to Nancy Jones. I'm giving you a shout out because of the shout out you gave for me and for Monkey and I. So I appreciate it and I hope the train works well for you. Don't forget to oil it real good when you, uh, before you fire it up. But you know all that. So anyway, uh, again, Nancy, you're welcome. And I hope it does good for you. And everybody else, thanks for watching. I'm Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. I'm gone for now. Bye-bye, guys. We'll talk to you soon. Take care.